We begin tonight with news of a possible water crisis in Williams. Well, that's right. The city begins stage four water restrictions, which among other things, ban outdoor water usage. That includes everything from watering your lawn to washing your car. And AZ Today's Abby Barinholtz learned how these new restrictions are affecting the community. With the ongoing drought and limited water, the city of Williams has enacted new water restrictions. Well, and personally, I'm not sure I would call it a water crisis. It's definitely a serious situation, and we need to implement some restrictions to get it squared away before we do have a severe water crisis. Our water in our lakes are very low, and we've, we've got to fix that. I spoke with City Manager Brandon Buchanan about the current restrictions and how they affect the community of Williams. Well, it, it doesn't take very far to, to see the proof. Um, go out and take a look at any of our surface reservoirs. Uh, you'll see there's not a whole lot of water in them. We're concerned about the supply. Now we do have two wells that we're working with, um, pumping around the clock to help meet demands and, and relying heavily on those right now. Um, in order to try and conserve what water is left, the city has been placed on level four restrictions. Level four is the most restrictive. By the time you get to level four, there's just no outdoor water. And that's where we're at now. When a house uses more than 15,000 gallons a month, their water bills increase to 150% of the normal rate. Uh, and then once they hit 20,000, it goes to 200% of the normal rate. The average usage for a typical residential unit here is, is five to 7,000 gallons a month. Going forward, we know we can't plan on, and, on being hopeful. We have to plan for the worst case and act accordingly. The city of Williams, along with other towns in the Southwest, will continue to deal with the water problem as the drought continues. Reporting from Williams for NEZ Today, I'm Abby Barinholtz.